In section 4.3, we are exploring linearly independent sets and the idea of basis. So we were first introduced to the idea of linear independence back in chapter one. And I'm happy to say that we use the same definitions here. So to get us started, let's recall those definitions. So we say that an indexed set of vectors, v sub one, vector v sub two, all the way up to vector v sub p is called linearly independent if the vector equation has only the trivial solution. So if the vector equation, c sub 1 times vector v sub 1 plus c sub 2 times vector v sub 2 all the way up to c sub p times vector v sub p is equal to the zero vector has only the trivial solution. meaning that vector x is only the zero vector. So in other words, this means that all of our weights, c sub 1, c sub 2, are all zero. We then say that a set, an index set of vectors, is linearly dependent if the vector equation has a non-trivial solution. So if that same vector equation has a non-trivial solution. So in other words, free variables exist. So we have vector, or excuse me, scalar c sub 1 times vector v sub 1 all the way up to scalar c sub p times vector v sub p equals the zero vector such that all these weights are non-zero. So weights meaning those scalars. 